How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. If you didn't see part one of this series, you need to go back and check it out because we do an overview of what this truck actually is. It's a 1984 International Cab Over and it's for sale and you can go to Kevin Parker Services at Hotmail.com to check out to see, not, see whether or not he still has it. But with that being said, today is the day that we're going to crank this beast up. So we're still here at the, uh, the, the yard here on Kevin Parker's uh, tow lot. And so a little history behind this tractor. Uh, he, he rescued it, I guess. He salvaged it from a guy that was just going to throw it in the, in the scrap yard. And so for him to be able to say, hey, listen, I think that we have a chance to make this thing live again was pretty cool of Kevin to recognize that. So the tractor itself, again, it's an 84. It's air ride in the back. You can see the airbags there and here. And when we crank this thing up here in a minute, you'll see whether or not it, um, if the air system works on it. Uh, it is a big, big 400, a uh, big cam 400 uh, on the Cummins engine. But anyway, I know that's enough yapping about this stuff. You guys actually want to see if it's going to crank or not. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing cranked up because we're excited about it as well. If you missed part one, we did a really cool tour of the inside of this thing. And so it doesn't have handles. Uh, I mean, it does have handles, but they're inside the, the, the bed here. But this is the inside. If you didn't see it from the bed, it's the 13 speed Eaton Fuller. Um, it's got uh, 658,699.3 miles on it. It's in really good shape. The headliner still got the plastic in it right here. The leather or the pleather fake leather there on the back side of the sleeper cab still in really good shape um it's got a the console here now you know the, the magic question is does and oh and it does have owner's manual for the engine and the actual cab itself so the magic question is is it going to crank so that's what we're going to be working on today to make sure that it cranks it's a really it's a really cool truck i mentioned in my last video that uh, the international switch from the circle to the square headlights in 84. So this is the first year of the square headlights on this particular model. He's been trying to get it ready for paint. That's why it's sanded here. Split window in the front. And Brandel studying the owner's manual. What you doing, Brandel? Trying to learn about cab over. <laughs> and of course we got the voice of experience with us here. Tommy's over there. Say hey, Tommy. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> I told Tommy on the way up here, I said, you know the only reason that our, our channel gets a lot of subscribers and a lot of views is because of you, right? And see, you start chuckling. Oh, Tommy, he's always chuckling. So, hey, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, there's about nine, that nine out of ten people that are watching this video right now that are not subscribed. Hit that subscribe button, man, and come along for the party. We always have a good time over here at Hamiltonville Farm. What we're doing is trying to raise the cab now. Got a leak in the cab the pump for the cab jack let's go get a tool set can't fix that with a crescent wrench got a, a got a ferocious attack dog that came and what are you doing what are you doing <laughs> i think it's gonna look <laughs> i think it's gonna bite her ankles off brandle <laughs> got a little leakage right there I got three of those oh, they look like bulldogs of some sort. Yeah, that's not gonna work either. I guess it might be metric. Let's see, let's try the metric ones here. That's gonna be a three. Well, that don't work either. <laughs> that's all I got. I bet man. it's a three and a half. Probably. Something I ain't got. Yeah. Did it feel like it was moving though? No. Oh, awesome. I got some torque bits in here. Let's see. Let's try those. Tight. Oh, it's tight? Yeah, I think that there's just a little crack in the back. Yeah. Of the pump. All right. Get back over here and get some shop towels so we can say somewhat clean. Get the oil. And then I'm 
even know where the air filter is. The air it, filter. Well, the air filter is in. The air filter is in. The in here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, we're, our youth is showing off on us here a little bit. Let's check the oil right quick. We know the oil's in here. We got, hey, Brandon, we got the owner's manual, man. We can find an air filter. Yeah, that's true. Hey! <laughs> Apparently the fifth one moves. Check the, check the oil status. I love these old dipsticks, man. They are miles long, man. And the curl. Oh, yeah, we're good. Oil's good. Man, I'm just so excited about this thing. It's so awesome. <laughs> Power plant from the Big Cam 400 Cummins. Since we can't get the cab up, can't give you some good shots of the engine. I'll give you guys a look from the passenger side. Your air filter goes there. And more in the back side of the engine. What you doing, Brandon? Trying to take this access panel down. Trying. Yeah. Is the go. operative word. I got some liquid wrench in my truck. There you go. Oh, oh it's yeah. Just that. Yeah, there. Boy, I'm glad there wasn't nothing in that. I know, right? All right, so now we just check the coolant level. We can get that thing up. Careful, it might be hot. <laughs> <laughs> that thing ain't been hot in years, has it? There you go. Uh oh. Can you feel anything with your no, There's no water in it. We won't let it run that long, I guess. Yeah. Of course, down here in Florida, we can just top it off with water. That's right. Especially this old, these older ones too. Yeah. Before we close this thing back up, we'll spray some liquid wrench on it. That'll help. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, liquid wrench does not sponsor our channel. Uh, so, but I really, really like their, their products. And if you want to buy some liquid wrench, I'll leave my Amazon affiliate link in the description below. You pay the same price, we get a little kickback when you use the affiliate link. Without raising the cab, uh, we, we saw what we could see. We checked the fluids that we could check. Oh, I haven't checked the fuel yet. Let's check the fuel. Might not have any fuel in it. Let's see. Oh, good lord. Oh, it's got some. I can see my reflection. Yeah, I can see my reflection. Let's see. It smells good, too. I love this. The old freight shaker. I guess that's technically what you call a freight liner, but... All right, let's see. Let's see if we can't uh, turn this bad boy on. Trans got a dash light. All right, let's see. Oh, had a little buzzer. I love that. I love to hear those little trucks. I 
hear some air leaking there. Let Randall climb up in there and let, give, give him a taste of it. Don't that sound good, Brandon? I mean, this was a nice old tractor. Yeah, it's nice. In like 1984. You know? So that track, that, that air escape is coming from the parking brake. Yeah, it's got a bad, got a bad valve somewhere. Either, either this valve is just bypassing or one of the tractor valves. Is yeah. The dog house is big enough to sleep on in this thing. <laughs> it is. Wait, how many, you think me and you can start our own over the road business there, Brandon? I think so, yeah. Think <laughs> Could you live with me with a single, I, I, a single I, sleeper? <laughs> yeah, I think this would be the perfect, perfect thing for it. <laughs> I, I notice a little sarcasm in your uh, voice there. I, I get the hint of a little sarcasm. <laughs> If you look at these batteries, they say 5, 9, 20, 20 on them. And these cables look brand new. So they've replaced the batteries. So that's good. That thing fired right up, man. That was awesome. So if you're interested in purchasing this, uh, evidently, I mean, there's, I mean, it's a 1984, right? But Kevin Parker Services at Hotmail.com is the email address you need to go check out and he's got it up for sale you could check it out and see if it's something that you'd be interested in y'all can make some arrangements but i mean fire right up man the, the the big part the big part is uh has proven to be effective hey man this was a piece of cake i, I mean it, this is the easiest one we've done and probably the coolest one we've done and the easiest one we've done you know thanks to new batteries and and all the fluids being good so I mean, it, it fired right up. So will it start? Of course it will, because it's an old diesel. It's an old coming, so it, it's going to start, it. you know. So if you're interested in this vehicle, go to the email address below. You guys, underneath Tommy's right shoulder is going to be a little white circle. Click that to subscribe. Underneath it is another will it start video from Hamiltonville Farm. You guys take care. We'll catch you on the next one.